Meanwhile, it's been a pretty nice time to, to travel anywhere. Pretty clear skies, a lot of sunshine. Eric Dean's got the latest. That's right. Today, same story. Abundant sunshine. There's the sunset on our city cam, making for a gorgeous uh, Thursday night across the Cooley region. Take a look here in Eau Claire, though. You guys are at 78 degrees. Your humidity is at 32%. Your dew point's at 46. Winds are out of the north northwest at 12 miles per hour. And the reason why I'm showing that because that's one of the cool spots across the area in terms of the feels like temperature and the dew point. Right now we're sitting at 87 here in La Crosse, 82 in Winona, 86 in Red Wing, 82 in Preston, 81 in Decorah. Prairie Sheen, good evening to you guys. You're seeing a temperature of 83, same story uh, in Boscobel. But you factor in that dew point, we take a look at this right here, it feels like temperatures are in the upper 80s, low 90s. It feels like 90 here in La Crosse, 85 in Viroqua, 87 in Sparta, 87 in Black River Falls, 89 in Eau Claire, 88 in Red Wing, 85 in Preston, 83 in Decorah. So here's the setup. High pressure still in control for now. We have a cool front that's going to push its way through starting tomorrow afternoon going into the evening hours. We'll talk about that coming up in just a couple seconds. So when you wake up in the morning, Temperatures in the 60s will greet you mid to upper 60s to be exact. 69 in Winona, 64 in Black River Falls, 66 in Sparta, 68 in La Crosse, 68 in Decorah, 66 in Viroqua. Highs tomorrow, much like today, we're going to be flirting with the big 9-0. How about 89 degrees in La Crosse, 88 in Eau Claire, 88 in Winona, 86 in Preston, 86 in Decorah. Now, Storm Prediction Center for tomorrow has us under marginal risk for severe weather. The entire Cooley region or a 1 out of 5 with heavy wind, hail, and vivid lightning. That's going to be for the uh, afternoon going into the evening hours. So the first alert forecast for tonight, clear skies, nice calm wind, overnight lows will be in the mid 60s with winds out of the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. For tomorrow, sunny skies to start, thunderstorm chances will pick up. Winds will be out of the south at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. The balance of the eight day forecast shows that high of 89. Let's go ahead and break Friday out because I want to time everything out. So here's Friday morning. We start the day off with abundant sunshine, a little bit of rain to the southern part of the News 8 viewing area. As we go into the noon hours, keep an eye on this front right here. It's going to start pushing its way through. By the 2 o'clock hour, we see temperatures in the 80s and 90s. By the 6 o'clock hour, thunderstorm chances fire up along that front. And then this front will push its way through, and it's going to do two things. It's going to increase the precip chances across the area. And then that wind is going to shift as we go into your evening and overnight hours. By Saturday at noon, we're only going to be in the 60s and 70s. Let's go ahead and take a look here at Saturday. There's a high of 75 degrees, but we take a look at the larger perspective of how this front's going to play out. You can see it right here, that wind, these light blue barbs. That wind's going to shift. That's what's going to keep us cool for not only Saturday, but for Sunday, we go to 75. Monday, look at that abundant sunshine with a high of 78, but some places will stay in the mid 70s. 75 will be the high in Winona, 73 Rochester, 73 Preston, 75 in Decorah. So if you have travel plans across the area, it's going to be the same story. Sunny skies, temperatures will be in the 70s. Then we go back into the 80s. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, going into next Friday, that humidity will start to creep back up a little bit, but still not a bad eight day, especially this weekend where we have highs in the 70s. Definitely get out and enjoy it. It's going to be very fall like to say the least. There were leaves on the ground in my neighborhood when oh, I went wow. for my walk Already, huh? and I was like, no, <laughs> not yet. Well, look at it this way. In about eight weeks, we'll be shoveling snow. Nope, oh. don't say it. <laughs> that was the wrong thing yeah, to say. We don't say, say those things. Mike, here, the Eric. camera guy over here is like, no. <laughs> yeah, no. Don't want to hear that. Thanks, Eric. <laughs> you bet.